Wagwan Jivio family. Y'all man gaming, we're back with a new video. What you're seeing is my 6'9 two-way three-point thread build. And as somebody that owns literally four different 6'8 builds, three different 6'7 builds that can all dribble and score, the 6'9 is the most unique of them all for various reasons. Not only because you take up so much space on the floor, like you literally are a big man, bro. You get so much stops in the paint, it's not even funny. Even when you don't have your gold anchor, you're going to still get a lot of stops. When you are able to speed boost and momentum, like you see, you they cannot stay in front of you, bro. And if you just want to not even dribble, if you want to speed hop around the court speed glitch, I drop a video on how to do that. If you're wondering how I'm speed boosting with no speed booster, because you don't need speed booster on a 6'9", because you can't even get it silver anyways. If you put it on bronze, you're still not going to get a good hezzy boost, which is pretty much a way to glitch speed boosting. You're not going to get that. So you might as well not even try to get that. Just make sure your ball handling is good enough so you can get some sigs, so you can hezzy boost, which is what you see me doing. I feel like 6'9s are unique because of their size. I have a lot of six eights with gold anchor, gold glove, but they are not moving like this build. No, with that being said, the reason why I would choose my six eight if I have to go to war with any build over the six nine is because you have no liabilities, bro. A six nine, you do have a liability. Play against some sweats on the tools too much. You're going to have a, a tough time scoring on him if you don't know how to score without momentum and, and doing a lot of combos like that. I'm somebody that loves to dribble like that. I do not have a tough time scoring, Send but I like to have all things going for me immediately when I load up in the game. I don't want to have to get takeover to be able to dribble the way I want to dribble. And on a 6'8", you can do that. On a 6'8", with 85 ball handle, literally you can dribble off, rip, do all the combos you want to do in the world. Any combo that a small guard can do, you can do it on a 6'8". On a 6'9", you have to get play tape. Even with ball handling and sleeve, ball handling boost, even if your takeover is 50%, you're not going to be able to speed boost momentum like that. Or you're not going to be able to crab boost or hezzy boost like you just see me do right there without having momentum. No, like I said, if you're somebody that does not dribble the, ba the basketball, you do not have to worry about that. Don't worry about getting no speed booster because I do not have it on this build. I don't even get the option to have it on this build. All I have is bronze blow by. And you see, I have a 62 acceleration in what you're seeing right now. None of that stuff matters on these big builds. Little guard build, yeah, you're gonna wanna have speed booster and stuff like that. But when it comes to a 6'9", you cannot get silver speed booster, so it does not matter if you, even if you max out the speed ball to a 71 or whatever it is you have it at, you cannot get silver speed booster. So don't waste your time. On a 6'8", you can get silver speed booster, which is gonna enable you to do regular hezzy combos, speed boost combos without having to speed hop like you see me do right there. When I activate sharp take, I cannot dribble on this build. So that's another thing about the build is the only takeover that you're going to be able to use if you're somebody that likes to dribble and score off the dribbles, that's how you have your fun. You're going to have to use play take and play take only. You're not going to be able to dribble off sharp take. I never tried slash and take, but we don't do no slash and take around here anyways, all right? Now here's the crowd that I feel like the 6 9 is best for. Those who run real big, but want to be an option on the floor without just catching and dunking and catching and shooting. Because this build is going to get your gold anchor, it's going to get your silver glove, it's going to get your gold rebound chaser, your gold post lock, goalie move, board force, all that good stuff. It's going to be able to stop your post scores. That's who this build is going to be best for. People that don't really care about dribbling. I like it, but I like my 6-8 more. All right, let's go ahead and make this 6-9 two-way three-point threat that I've been using probably for 20 games, and I've only lost one game on it. Build is amazing. Now, there are some things, there are some downsides to the build, and there are some upsides to the build. I'm going to explain all that to you guys right now while we're making the build. All right, put any jersey number you want. I'm go with 11. That was my IRL jersey. Now, to get a 6-9 build, you need to be at least a shooting guard, because if you go point guard, it stops you at 6-8. I put mine at center, so it won't be no mistake in where they place me every single time I, I load up on the game. And we're going to go 228 in the weight. We, we do we also want to get gold rebound chaser but i'm going to explain to you why i'm going to show you guys that there's probably a better way to make the build than the way i made it all right i'm just going to show you how i made it first thing i did was i put my three pointer up to an 80 so i can get more jump shots and silver blinders because i'm not going to lie shooting on a 6.9 feels faster than when you're shooting on a 6.8 i don't know what it is all right the next thing i did was i put my ball handle all the way up to an 80 you're not going to be able to momentum off rip no matter what you do. I've tried buying ball handling boost plus using a ball handling sleeve. You're not going to be able to dribble off rip. I've even tried to use um, wait till my takeover fills up halfway to see if I can momentum and tween spam. You're not going to be able to do that until you get takeover where you'll be able to use play tape. 
All right, play tape. If you're on a six nine and you want to have fun and you love your six nine build, I'm showing you how to get your your six nine build to move like a six eight, and it moves faster than a six eight because you have larger steps. I don't know what it is, but every year it's like that. It's just like that in real life. Somebody that's tall that can move fast is going to take up more space than somebody short, right? Look at Usain Bolt versus um Usain Bolt versus Coleman or um Tyson in in the in the Olympics all the time. You saw the man was covering way more ground with the strides same thing applies for basketball lebron takes up a lot of space when he's striding there's people out there that's fast like john morant but i'm not gonna lie those strides kd take two steps he's gone to the rim when Bayama take one step from the three-point line he's gone to the rim <laughs> you get what i'm saying so it's 2k's logic which is realistic so only downside to this build is you can't momentum off rip and you can't tween spam off rip if you don't do a momentum or tween spam you're good another thing is speed booster you're not gonna get it on silver so you're gonna get a weird speed boost you are going to have to speed boost glitch like i do in the clips that you've seen speed glitching on this build is what's gonna save you it opens up a whole new world for you when you're speed glitching speed glitching is not the regular hezi boost don't get it twisted regular hezi boost is faster to get to the rim speed glitch it's very very useful for builds like this that doesn't get speed booster high and in my case speaking of speed booster i didn't even get speed booster i think because I put it on 62. I'm gonna, let me see something real quick. Put my pass to a 70. Let's see what I got speed booster on. I think it was um, blow by that I get. That's why I keep it. I didn't need speed booster because honestly, speed booster bronze doesn't do nothing. You still get those weird animations. You know, an animation where it's just making you run real fast. It's not giving you a smooth run. You're still going to get that. So there's no point in wasting attributes because you can't go any higher, bro. You're not going to get silver. It's not going to happen with that low ball handle. So we're just going to keep blow by. Speed went 78 and 63. So all I did was I get bronze blow by. This is a big man build. And I'm going to show you guys how to make it if you want to use it at guard. All right. If you don't know how to dribble too much and you know how to just get to the rim, you have one good move. That's your main move. And you have another move. That's a counter. Guess what? I'm going to show you guys how to make it a point guard as well. This is the big man version that can dribble. All right. And trust me, there's no difference in 62 speed with ball and 70. Trust me, there's really no difference. And acceleration, I use it as a 66 on all my builds. 63 don't feel no different, especially since you can't even do a regular hezi boost. You can only speed boost glitch, a speed boost hop. All right. For those that don't know what I'm talking about. 90 strength. Put that strength up to a 90. Let me see something real quick put that down all right 90 strength gives us <coughs> 90 strength gives us a movable enforcer on gold which is good gold brick wall which is good for if you want to set screens physical handers hall of fame and silver bulldozer i've already got this animation already where i'm shrub shoving a six seven off of me bro toxic right no vertical 80 need that 80 for the chase down right stamina we're gonna max it out all right no <coughs> defense for defense we want 88 interior so we can get gold post lockdown it's really the only thing you need now i did go 92 block so i can get um gold anchor and i actually went 92 rebound as well so i get gold rebound chaser that's what i did and i went 85 steel let me show you 85 steel that's what i did i went 60 perimeter because you're most likely gonna be going a big that's slow i'm just showing you how i made it first i'm gonna show you guys what i would do differently all right and then i went uh 77 driving dunk i'm gonna show you guys why because you don't the extra attributes don't give you anything standing dunk 65 all right and that's how i made the build and i put my free throw up this is how i made the build and i've already been using the build and the build is solid I really don't have no complaints about the build other than one thing. Ever since this new patch update, you're going to need a perimeter, bro. Also, I'm still getting steals with 85. I would leave this alone because it's toxic. If you know how to time your steals, you're good. You, if, if somebody don't know how to dribble and they're just standing there, rip them. 2K want us to have a steal fest. Let's have a steal fest. I'm a dribbler. I don't really get ripped, bro. I know how to avoid people that will love to spam. I just speed hop all over the court. They hate me. 
because if once they get to reach i don't do no drill moves i just do two speed ops and i'm gone to the rim or i'm gonna hop back and shoot it <laughs> this part of the section is my build now let's go into the next part of the section of what i would do differently XP and we're gone so if you make it this way let's see what they call you because statistically defensively you know defensive wise this build is going to be way better than the one i sent you even though it doesn't get gold rebound chaser trust me you're going to be snagging just based on the fact that you're six nine with pretty much max wingspan you're going to be snagging over people even with a seven to rebound and when you add silver rebound chaser in there the difference between silver and gold does not feel too big of a difference to me so the builds that i make i'm going to make it with at least 85 to 90 rebound instead of a 92 because 92 don't feel like it's worth it to me if you go 95 now that's where i would be like okay 95 is different because i have a build with 96 and it's freaking crazy but you're really not gonna get nothing like that on this build if you make it like this let's see what they call you to a three-point threat this is the way i would make the build personally you're not a liability in the post i get post stops you're not a liability on offense you can do everything and guess what you can run iso with it too or you can you be a, a, a regular big a spot up big set screens with gold brick wall i mean this is the perfect big man build in my opinion if you're not a dribble if you're a dribbler you're gonna want to go with a six eight unless you're an elite dribbler like yardman gaming where you know how to finesse the system hop glitch all over the court and then get takeover and you can move like a six four guard <laughs> so if you want to do it like that to me it's a little fun because it challenges you but it's going to be up to you at the end of the day now you saw the two versions the one i made and the one that i think you should make and honestly i use a different jump shot on it now so i don't even need the 80 anymore the jump shot i was using in the beginning of the video is a jump shot that you need a 83 pointer for and it's pretty much base 38 i look alike kind of similar to base 38 i'll drop a video on if you guys want hit that like button let's get this video to 500 likes if y'all want that jump shot right now i'm using that t mic jump shot the 79 and below three ball for i think you need a 76 or 74 actually to get this base i dropped a video last video on this jump shot so make sure you guys go check it out i love the jump shot now the only thing you're gonna be able to do on this build is what you just see right there speed hop if you don't care about momentum and tween spams you can speed hop any time of the day on a build like this just have to right have the right six on and you see this is my build six nine i'm telling you i'm not gonna remake it you can make the one i showed you either one Speed hop around the court if you don't care about dribbling. Big up on yourself. Big up to the match. Do you want to know nothing? Already, I'm gonna give me gone.